How's it going, fellas? I'm Otosh, and this is another episode of Mortal Kombat, and in today's episode... Well, it's kind of a recap of what happened last episode a little bit. Earthrealm is free, and then you can get his neck snapped. That's what happened last episode, so it's not that big of a surprise. Happened at the very end, so I don't know if he sticked around till the very end. And now, for some reason... Yeah, last episode we were playing the Kung Lao chapter. But then it kind of switched, and it became... See, in the final fight, fight of this chapter, we have to do as Kung Liu Kang. I always get them confused. There's too many L's and K's in their names. Kung Lao, Liu Kang, it's a bit confusing, right? You can still hear shit in the background, it's just not as loud as it was last episode. I guess I fucking lowered the volume of this shit. Maybe a what culture video. I don't fucking... <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of like and dislike them at the same time. It depends on what video I'm watching of them. And who's posting it. Who's like talking. And some of the people, I feel like they say the most generic shit imaginable. Well, the other people are actually kind of nice, cool to listen to. And they're kind of interesting. Or when they're just covering some news and rumors and shit. For example, recently I feel like they made like 10 different videos of the worst fucking games this year, and they're all the same. Just with different titles. Yeah, so we gotta defeat Shao Kahn this episode. Like I said last episode, Shao Kahn is a cheating motherfucking bitch, and he is insanely fucking hard to beat. But what's even worse is that you have to fight him at the very end of the game again, but this time you fight him as Raiden. And that's. Uh, the fight is infinitely more difficult to do. I think I already figured out my tactic. Just go away, start throwing fireballs at him, and that'll be good. Except look how little of fucking hell the fireball actually fucking take from him. And he throws the hammer, and his, like, you cannot stun him or anything like that. It sucks, and he gets the shoulder bash move. Throws the hammer, which you cannot fucking block. So awful, and then he, on top of all that, on top of all these insulting moves he does to you, he fucking insults you too. He called me pathetic. That's his move, he just fucking shit talks you. What a good villain. Not for real, he is a good villain and a good character, but I fucking hate fighting him. That doesn't change. Man, my voice is kinda fucked up, right? Gonna have a hard time. Speaking right now, I don't know why. Yeah, so Christmas came and went, as they say. And uh, what you guys got for Christmas? I got for Christmas a really cool hoodie. And I also got a really cool video game. The Sackboy A Big Adventure, which is basically Little Big Planet 4. Under a different name, because it's kind of a spin-off, but it's like a continuation to... Well, I'm saying it's a spin-off because it plays different than all the Little Big Planet games. It's kind of like like Mario 3D World. What? Like Little Big Planet is like new Super Mario Bros. Then Sackboy: A Big Adventure is like the Mario 3D World, where everything's kind of top-down view and you run around at like an open level. You know, because the games so far were really linear; they were side scrollers. Or as I like to call them. I mean, I like to call them. That's kind of their name. Whenever there's like a platformer, but it's not completely 2D. Where it's like a platformer where you go on left and right. You can't exactly go in and out. So you only have... So much movement, right? Kind of make it fucking sound really dumb. And I'm getting my ass kicked. At least in this fight, it's like, okay. Because it's fucking everybody gets their ass kicked in this fucking fight. Round one, fight. And, uh, yeah, it's a 2D.5 platformer where it's like, it's, it's 2D, you walk left and right. But, oh, I mean, in fucking Little Big Planet's case, that actually makes more sense because in Little Big Planet you can actually walk in and out because there's like three layers to every level. So it makes a little bit more sense, to be honest. But. Yeah, it's a cool game. I'll do a let's play of it at some point. After this game, I wanted to do what? Hold on. The game before that was Patapon 2. 
the game before that was Shovel Knight. Oh yes, after this let's play, we're gonna do Shovel Knight. Uh, whatever the fuck it was called. The fucking Plague Knight DLC, what the fuck was it called? Plague of Shadows? I think it's called Plague of Shadows. And after that, we're gonna do... A 3D platformer, which could either be Sackboy Epic Adventure, or we could do, uh, is what I wanted to do. <clears throat> uh, Astro's Playroom. That's what I wanted to do. And then we're gonna do Uncharted. Because I promised you Uncharted, and it was meant to be this Let's Play, but then I was like, you know what, I wanna do Mortal Kombat before I go into Uncharted. So if you really wanted to see Uncharted out of me, out of my channel, then you gotta stick around with this fucking Let's Play instead. Whatever, I also wanted to finish this before uh, I do the fucking replay of Mortal Kombat X. Look, he's spamming his fucking projectile too, except his fucking deals way more damage. At least you can crouch under the javelin, so that's pretty cool. I got a drink here. It's called Tiger Max Mango. Plus 50% more caffeine. That doesn't sound very really good, to be honest. Well, that dice that, it's like... Plus 50% more chance to get a heart attack. I like the mango flavored shit. It's good. It's like the blue monster energy drink all over again. How many times have I drank something that tasted exactly the same like that? I was also gonna buy. I wanted to buy uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. But shit came came up and I just kinda didn't. Shao Kahn wins. So that's kind of a bummer, I guess. I'll get it some other time. It's like, even if I bought it, it wouldn't be like I would immediately make a let's play out of it. I, I'd do it at some point, which I still will. I guess. Yeah, it's actually a big adventure. I'm, all, I'm not playing it yet, so I've been playing Ratchet and Clank with the part. That's a game I borrowed from a friend, so I'm probably not gonna do a let's play on it, because that's a, a rule I have. I don't make let's plays that are borrowed games, not after Battlefield 1. If you go back on my channel and you find that there's a let's play of Battlefield 1, that still to this day isn't finished because I just don't have the game anymore because I started playing the game um, and I borrowed the game from a friend and I was like oh another game to make a let's play of because I was like I mean I think that was my third let's play I ever did so I was quite excited about doing let's plays out of everything I could so I decided I'm gonna make like some some rules that I'm gonna follow, so I don't make ex let's play out of every single fucking game I get my hands on. So, that's why I sometimes when I'm like getting games from PS Plus, I first do like a gameplay and such out of them. And sometimes I'm like, you know what, this game's good enough, I think I'm gonna at some point do a let's play of it. But then again, like my... My list of let's plays is pretty long. Especially of the let's plays to do, is pretty long. And I don't exactly follow it like the, the way I wrote it. I just kind of, I'm just kind of like, oh, I want to do Mortal Kombat now. It's like how I feel. For example, Infamous Second Son was one of the first Let's Plays on that list. And I still haven't done it. I still haven't even beaten the game. Because I just don't feel like playing it. But I think it is a good game. And probably Wardy are actually getting a whole Let's Play made of it. But with the fact that my PS5 can play PS4. The four games, nothing really stands in my way of making that let's play. I wanna be laughing. I'm getting my ass. You're getting your ass kicked for once. Oh, I won. That's it. Nice. On your feet. Oh, this looks ugly. Why is this game so ugly? Man, Shop comes fucked up. You can see his muscles and shit. Through his helmet. I fucked him up. I'm gonna kill him now. I'm the chosen one. The Shaolin and Earthrealm. Liu Kang, don't do it. You're gonna repeat the pattern of the destruction or whatever the fuck. 
Because the whole game's plot is that Raiden's trying to prevent from the... He's trying to prevent uh, the events repeating like they did in the original timeline of Mortal Kombat. But he's kind of doing a shitty job at it. Kind of like everything else Raiden does. Raiden is full of wisdom and he is a powerful warrior. But everything he's trying to do, he kind of fucking fucks it up. But he's so charismatic, you don't really... You're not gonna call him a clumsy fucking dumbass or something. Actually, I don't think he was against the fact that Shao Kahn died. Who's gonna take over as the Emperor? I think it's gonna be Kitana or Melina. Nice, nice tits. Nice new outfit. That's what I meant to say. Not as nice as mine, though. Look at that. Look at fucking Liu Kang's body shape. The Crash Bandicoot. To pay. I think I'm gonna join Shaolin. I encouraged him. Everybody has the same body shape in Our this game. That's another thing that kind of pisses me off. Every male character looks like the same, the body that. shape. Even Raiden, even though he, he has his outfit on, has you. the same fucking body shape. But to and every Armageddon female character also has the same body Khan, shape. Making me think, they probably just took like a faceless model and just modeled every single character after that model. It cannot be. You know? Shao Kahn is dead. Yet the future remains unchanged. I don't know. Jigen, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with that, not Bobo Po. Don't know what happened. That guy from JoJo, I don't know, I don't, never fucking watched JoJo. I don't really want to either. Look, it's, uh... Is what's his name? Melina is his the centaur guy? Melina? She exists only because of my sorcery. His name is Motaro. Uh, Shokan pulled through. Thanks to Quan Chi's magic, I guess. He had a halt for your chest. Well, I guess he is half dragon, scary guy. Can no longer merge with Earth Realm. There may yet be an alternative emperor. Emperor, Invasion. there may be an alternative. Do you mock me? Yes. Sindel's ward prevents Making me from setting you. foot in, right in your Realm. face. Have you considered why your wife and empress Why is Quan Chi so white? Is it like Kratos where he's covered in ashes of his dead family or something? She realized that the safeguards of speaking of Kratos, he is in this game. I mean, not in this game that I'm playing right now, but he is in Mortal Kombat 9 on the PS3 version. And he's pretty cool, to be honest. Ah, oh, my eyes. I have mastered the spells necessary you know what's funny? I think when you're playing Fortnite on like a PS4 or a 5, you can actually play as Master Chief. Because it's not like he's Xbox exclusive, I think he's just in Fortnite, so... No matter which version of Fortnite you play, I think he's just available. So they should have done something like that with Kratos in this game. Like, even though they added him to the fucking game, that he should be able... Should be available on the other versions, too. only to serve. They should have done something like that with Shovel Knight, where like all the actually they get the things. Like that's like the choice: which version of Treasure Trove do you get, dependent on the DLC characters you're gonna get. Oh, noob is there. I guess noob is Quan Chi's new fucking ninja puppet. Nice titties. Nice titties. She's a MILF. Another Christmas tradition of mine is watching Home Alone. I think I watched it like twice this time around. Just because it was on TV. And each time I fucking missed the opening. And I picked up the movie where, where his family already left him. And he's just all alone in his house. And he's like fucking around doing some stupid shit. If I was left all alone in the house like that. I don't know what the fuck I would do. Order some hookers. Who the fuck would know? The invasion of Earth Realm Maybe. That'd be cool. I'm always tempted, but I never did that. I'm like, hmm. Whole day all by myself. Maybe it shouldn't be that way. I don't know, but see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.